Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where I build small little aquariums like the one in front of us and get rich doing it. We are back out in Aquarist, and there's actually been two new updates since I last played, so it's really nice to see uh, that this game is continuously being improved because it was rough around the edges at the start, but it slowly is becoming the game of my dreams. Now, the most important part of this update, at least for me... Oh god, I have dead fish and dead plants already. I should mention the pH system has been added to this game, so I could be having pH issues. Uh, but yes, the most important part, let's get right to it and figure out where exactly this new thing is. Yes, we have automatic feeders. I'm sure none of you care about this, but I sure as hell do. They're rather expensive, but I am sick of caring for these little jerks that keep dying. Totally not my fault, so we're gonna throw automatic feeders on all of my tanks. Uh, if I can figure out how. Things are hard in life. I guess this tank doesn't need an auto feeder because I, I think I let everything die in there. That's okay. It's it's art. All right, but now we don't have to do anything in here. I have the Roomba cleaning this place. Um, and now these things will automatically feed my fish. I'm assuming I have to fill these things with fish food. Uh, but that is just fantastic. Um, right click to inspect. Remaining amount. Okay, so it is automatically filled. Oh, I don't have to do anything anymore. Oh, I just realized there's no fish in this tank either. Dude, I have just killed all my fish. I really don't focus on this place anymore, but it has some nice memory. I was gonna say it has some nice memories. My goldfish just died. I just installed an automatic feeder. What do you want from me? Fish is dead because of temperature. Did I not put, where's my thermo? Oh my God, I'm ruining everything. Where is my heater? I don't, wait. Goldfish are technically like cold water. Did they change the parameters of the fish? Because I don't think I ever had a heater on this. Because goldfish are fine at room temperature. I guess not anymore. But yes, we now have to worry about water pH. I only have about two fish left. So I guess we really don't have to worry about it. Fish, are you still alive in here? There we go. Let's make sure you're okay. Uh, water pH is a bit low here. But I don't think it's deadly. So we're not going to worry about it. Plus, it's perfect for this guy who's kind of glitching out in the sand so um yeah i'm just gonna leave this place i was all excited to get fish feeders and i just killed more fish i should probably get rid of these fish though so i get paid more okay so i was curious how they wanted to um deal with ph in this game it looks like we have ph buffers so we have a ph booster and minus um i don't like using medicine in real life to change that you can do it with things like rocks and whatnot as well if you want to or just getting better water but yes uh it seems like ph is going to be pretty easy to deal with you just have to add plus or minus and make sure all the fish in every tank have a similar ph level but yeah it's nice to see that we have more complexity in this game because it was really basic at the start and uh now it's turning into a pretty interesting game uh, I do want to actually stock this thing. So let's get to want some of these new fish. There's been so many fish added. We definitely don't want saltwater fish here. I guess we could turn this into saltwater if I wanted to, but I hate saltwater tanks. Freshwater is the way to go. When did I get ordinary lake fish? We got rainbow freaking trout, smallmouth bass, piranhas. I don't even remember any of this. A rud fish? That sounds exciting. Um, we'll add a few of these carnivores. Is this carnivores? No, this is just decorations. Okay. It's been a while since I last played, guys. I apologize. I hope you guys are good in here. You're not good in here. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not a freaking heater in here. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me? When did I get a hammer? What is the hammer for? <laughs> I, I, I didn't buy that. I That must be a new tool. Can I destroy tanks? Because that would be fun. What's going on here? Temperature. Okay, so you want... Well, obviously, a little bit warmer. Doesn't actually specifically say, but it was about there. Eight degrees? I don't think that's... I think it's just a number here. And he died. Oh, my God. God damn it, man. These fish are dying way faster now. <laughs> this is pretty embarrassing considering, you know, I do this in real life. I should be good at this game. Why can I not pick up the fish? Please, just let me get him out of here. It's embarrassing. Is he still alive? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Is he just like, did, did he pass out? Why is the temperature still bad? Did I buy a bad heater? Freak, I'll put it at 35 then. Oh, yeah, fish is definitely dead because of the temperature. But, hey, putting it at 35 seems to work. So we're just going to test it on the dead fish before I put more fish in. It definitely won't be 35, but it seems like they delayed the heat up before the moment you change this, the water started heating faster. Obviously, that's not how it works in real life. So I kind of like that there's a delay now. Unfortunately, that means that fi this fish has perished. Can I pick you up yet? Thank you. 
All right, let's see how it is now. Okay, still not good. Why is the temperature reset on a new fish? What the frig does that mean? I'm so confused. Dude, I am not trying to kill you, I swear. Is it because I lowered the temperature again? All right, what, what, what is it, like 24? Okay, so yeah, I'm thinking that is degrees, and the slider is just extremely confusing because it, it should technically never be zero degrees in this if we're at room freaking temperature. Okay, he's happy now, so that tells me temperature is okay. Uh, he just wants more fish now. Well, I only have a few left because I killed so many of them, but in, enjoy your friends. I think I have a few on the table over here too. All right, well, I didn't intend for this to be a freaking struggle. I still can't collect this this goldfish, so he's just going to be their friend. I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't even know why I'm here. I just wanted to show you the fish auto feeders, and I just spent so much freaking time here. There's so much more things to do at the Oceanarium. So let's go over there and see part of this new update. There's also a job we still have to do from one of the earlier updates. I don't know if we'll get around to that today, but I definitely will try. We now have a cave exhibition here that I can buy. Um... Wait, do I have to buy- what the frig? Do I have to buy more than one? Why is this lock now? I'm so confused. Wait, maybe that's what the hammer's for? I forgot that there's a hammer now. There's probably one here, too. Oh, it even literally says at the top, destroy planks with a hammer to make entrance to the cave. Why? I spent 20,000 on it. Why is it still boarded up? I'm actually nervous that I have to invest more into this. This was like an initial investment because it's still locked. Oh, yay. Okay, so I destroyed some freaking planks and I get shrimp. I'm actually really excited for this, though. I love shrimp, so this is kind of exciting. Um, what is going on here? Who put all this crap in here? All right, so we have a bunch of small cave tanks, it looks like. And do I have to clean this? What do you want from me? Why do? Why is everything locked? Also, why is there explosives? Can I, can I kill myself? That was... Wait, wait, what, what am I, on the freaking moon? What the hell is going on here? Uh, anyways, we are done, I think. Why is there fossils here? That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, can I please? It's actually forcing me to make a shrimp tank. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Is this filled? I do not want to put a shrimp in an empty tank. That would be just the worst. How do I fill this? Is there actually water in there? Wait, I thought this was a fire alarm. Okay, so that, that is the water control. We need to put soil in first. All right, so yeah, I think we're just going to go kind of generic and use this sand. Shrimps generally like sand, so that's good. Oh, I need that scooper thing. Oh, why am I? I'm stuck. All right, let's fill this bad boy with some sand. I don't know what else has been added to the game. I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's a lot more rocks and everything, but I do know shrimp really like plants, so this might be a heavily planted tank for once. I haven't done many of those, at least lately. But being that we are on a quest, I have specific things I have to do. So we got to mix the shrimp. You don't generally want to do that because then you get weird like brown shrimp that are usually bred. But the game is forcing me to do it. So I shall listen and uh, oh, yeah, put water in it first. That would be smart. There we go. Fill the bad boy up. Look at that. That is that is efficient. You know what? We should probably plant this thing before we put the shrimp in as well. They'll probably be depressed and die. Uh, so I'm going to get a nice carpet. $175. Oh, my God. I'm not I'm not that rich. Well, I kind of am. I got $30,000. So I hope these things are huge. They better be for the freaking price. Oh, that's not a moss background. Now I'll use some of my favorite plants, Monte Carlo. Uh, I'm just going to buy a few of these. I don't like having a lot of different plants in my tank. So we'll put these at the foreground. All right. And we want some stem plants. I'm only going to keep one just because I want my shrimps to be climbing around on these things, basically. Oh, yeah, that's that, that's a good size for this tank. Actually, I'm probably a little too big, so we'll drop it down a little bit, put a smaller guy over here. And in the back, I'm hoping, actually, I wonder if we can black out these walls. All right, I doubt this will work because it usually, oh, it does work. Yes, we can black it out. Okay, that's good. Now, if we can't do the sides, I'm going to be mad. I think we can, if I remember correctly. Yes, we can. Oh, crap. I just realized I'm killing my plants. I spent uh, way too long building my rockscape in the back, but I think the uh, shrimp will love it. Uh, but yeah, I forgot to put, once again, to, uh, a thermometer in here. All right, so we're going to up it to about 20. That generally works. And hopefully, are these things dead? Oh, yeah, it's dead. All right, well, we used to be able to reset them. I doubt that's going to be a thing anymore. Yeah, unfortunately, they fixed that. All right, but now I want some wood. So we shall give it what it requests. Man, the wood in this game is so sad. Uh, so I'm just going to use wooden sticks and try and hide them more or less because I really don't like any of this other wood. Maybe we'll add a log just for funsies. 
So I think that's everything we need. Yeah, we just need blue velvet and red cherry shrimp now. Hopefully they breed and make weird things because that would be pretty cool. Oh my god, the blue velvet shrimp are $135 each for small ones. For, like, who? Who is spending this much on shrimp? Freshwater shrimp nonetheless. All right, well, I can't even see. <laughs> Look at how small it is. How? I don't. They must have changed the pricing because it was too easy to earn money in this game because that is insane. All right, well, can you see them? En enjoy your lives, you expensive bastards. I hope everything's okay in here. I didn't see the water pH until now. Water pH is perfect. Fish amount, not so good, but everything else is doing okay. I mean, I was going to fill this thing with a crap load of shrimp. I can't afford to fill this thing with a crap load of shrimp. <laughs> Enjoy, red cherry shrimp. I hope you're okay. Parameters are slightly different between species. All right, and there is our first shrimp tank. Totally done. Uh, I really wish I could add more shrimp because this would be a great tank with a crap load around. It's kind of nice, though. You just have to squint to find them. All right, so I can click a blocked part of the cave to unlock it and get an award. Do I want to go deeper this way or start on this side? I'm assuming it wraps around. I think I want to go deeper. The deeper, the cooler it gets. Looks like we have a generic tank here, actually. That doesn't sound very cool, but I'm going to unlock this anyways. So we get glowing blue, green, and red, and yellow fish. AKA, they're called glowfish. And yes, uh, they actually were genetic engineered with, I believe, jellyfish DNA. And kids tend to love them. I hate them, though. I don't know why I went this way. I'm sad now, but we got to build a glowfish tank over here. All right, I went for a jungle vibe on this one, and I got to be honest, I don't hate it. I mean, it's a little chaotic, to say the least, but that's what the game wanted. There was a bunch of things I had to add, as per usual. But a jungle should be chaotic. This was supposed to be a volcano. Just just pretend that's a freaking volcano, okay? I just thought it would be fitting. You know, there's, there's colorful animals in the jungle. These are colorful, annoying fish. Why 172? Oh my god. All right, so we need red and blue. I guess the other ones don't matter then? Okay. Oh my god, you're so over... Oh, I just asked... <laughs> One scraper, go away. I just deleted my back panel. Dude, these guys are so glowy. But yeah, I really just wanted to put this one together quickly so we can move deeper into my cave system. But yeah, this looks dope. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we got a bonsai tree. We got palm tree thingies. Got stupid glowy fish. This is this nice, you know? Uh, there are light switches at the entrance of the cave. One is for general lighting, second is for spotlights. Turn off both to see the aquarium in the dark. Oh, oh, that's actually exciting. Okay, turn off, turn off. Oh, look at it now. I, do I even have this light on? Yes, I do. Let's turn off the light. Oh, dude, that is dope. Oh, I'm so into this now. You know what? I don't even want this. Sell it. I can't, I can't actually sell it because it came with a tank, but I'm keeping it off. All right, well, I kind of like this slow progression. Um, I don't know. I mean, this looks small. I'm sick of doing small tanks. I want something big. Uh, but I am nearing the end of the, well, back of the uh, cave. So let's go this way. Electric catfish? That's more like it. I don't want boring glowfish. I want something new. I mean, where's my freaking hammer? And this is a much better quest, too. I hate when there's requirements for the tanks. It just says make them happy. Oh, I'm going to make my little catfish so freaking happy. Well, that's just mean. Uh, it says, I was reading the information behind this. It's actually kind of interesting. There's 19 identified species, and several have the ability to produce electric shock of up to 350 volts. But then it's like they are not beauty. That's a beautiful fish to me. Don't, don't judge it. All right, this is more my style of tank, though. Rockscapes are my favorite things to do, so we're going to go rock heavy in this one. Also, catfish love rock, generally. All right, it's not the perfect color, but these are definitely my favorite rocks in the game because I can so get complex with them. Uh, so yeah, we're going to buy these things and see if we can maybe blend them with something else. All right, I think I'm happy with this. I don't want to go too crazy or, you know, it just it's more rocks than water. Uh, but yeah, it gives a lot of caves for my stupid little catfish. And um, well, they have to be happy. So there's probably are going to want plants. They generally do in this game. So let's just make sure the temperature's right. And we want a nice, big, beefy boy here. So 24 to 29, I'm just gonna buy him real quick. And, oh yeah, I hid my, uh-oh. I put my temperature behind this rock, uh-oh. How the frig am I gonna get to my temperature now? I didn't think about this. Well, neither did the game, clearly. How am I supposed, can I, I wonder if I can put my own thermometer on it? Oh, that's right, you can't buy thermometers in this game. That is stupid. So I gotta get rid of, I think this rock. Oh my God, I gotta get rid of, Dude, I'm gonna have to redo do this. <laughs> I'm 
I'm so happy because I hid them. And this whole wall is gone now. All right, so let's make sure the temperature is good. And then we'll hide them again. All right, so I'm just going to do something like that. Just so I can control these if I need to, you know, fix plants or something. Let's see what this big boy thinks. Oh, he's a lot bigger than I expected. Finally, we got a decent sized fish in this game. Look at how dumb he looks. I love him. Uh, all right, so he's happy with the temperature. Plants, he doesn't want much, which is nice, but he wants a little bit. Um, he would also like one friend, it looks like. So very easy fish to keep. Okay, there we go. All happy all around. Now, for science... Ah, uh, yes, the hated yellow and green glowing fish. I'm going to spend $172 on a green one. And let's see what happens. Maybe they'll be friends. He's going to hide really quickly. <laughs> He actually might be too big. So I'm just going to have a random glow. Oh, 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 did I die? Oh, I, I thought it said it wasn't supposed to electrocute them. It freaking did. Dude, he is dead. <laughs> he is out of here. That was so cool. Are you guys going to eat him? Tank mates that are not. Oh, I, I am dyslexic. Okay, tank mates that are not shocked to death are eaten. I thought it said uh, it's they don't shock them. They, they just eat them. So you guys just not going to eat this guy? All right, well, well, that's cool. Um, and we are going to unlock this because I saw that there was a round tank in there. And the only thing that need round tanks are jellyfish. And that is what I wanted. Oh, yes. All right, so for this tank, I want everything to hopefully be quite dark. So I'm going to go for the darkest soil we have in the game because uh, I want the jellyfish to pop. We also need coral in this and they'll pop as well. So yeah, this is going to be my first salt water in this episode. This will be fun. All right, so it does want plants, unfortunately, as well. So I put this salt water in. Let's actually check the parameters of the jellyfish so we can build plants around those. Wow, that is very see-through. <laughs> so they want 18 to 22, a water pH quite high, 7.8 to 8.4. So we might need to up the pH here, which would be exciting because I haven't had to do that yet. But yeah, temperature is rather low. So it's going to be hard to find specific plants that actually want 22 to 24, I believe it was. So we'll put it at 23 and hope for the best or sorry it was 18 to 22 it's a good thing i double checked that uh so yeah the max we can have is 22 we'll definitely put it at 22 because not many plants at least in freshwater like temperatures that cold let's see what we can do in salt water i believe yeah these guys are cold so this is actually be great i actually wanted the red all right so yeah i i wanted to keep this tank quite simple so i have literally one rock and obviously in the middle of the tank because we don't have a background oh yeah that's right you can't Oh, no, this is going to be rough. Um, so for whatever reason, you can't place coral on rock, which is the abs it's absurd to me. Like certain things in this game, I'm like, what? Uh, literally how you're supposed to deal with coral is by gluing them to rocks. So why can't I glue them to rocks in this game? I don't know. All right, so I opted just to have some side rocks with some very basic coral on it. Um, also, why did this fall over? slightly sideways now that's gonna bother me so now we got to realign this that's good enough for me it's not perfect but hey it's not meant to be perfect all right let's finally get to the freaking jellyfish all right so this is gonna be a big investment i want to make sure the jellyfish are good first we're gonna need six of each actually they're not how is a shrimp more expensive than a freaking jellyfish game i mean i guess if we're going big it's pretty similar but still what the hell man all right so we're gonna buy Six of those, for whatever reason, I can only hold five. I just want to put one in to make sure everything is good in here. Is the pH good? That's what I'm most curious about. All right, well, it seems to be happy. Water pH is not good, so that's what I assume. Plants, there's too many plants. Well, too bad. I'm not getting rid of them now. Um, so, yeah, we're going to want to get pH buffer. I hope I don't use too much of this. I don't know how much I need, but we'll do a slow shake until it's good and ph is still rather low i just want to see if it's delayed i don't think it is all right so we're gonna put a few in worst case we can buy minus and recenter it yeah water ph is still a little low so this is a very easy way to deal with ph now are, are you a happy jellyfish indeed you are we just need more fish that's okay friends are indeed coming now you were my test subject good sir all right, and there we go. The final few. I gotta say, you know what? That looks pretty damn good. I like it. Uh, jellyfish are the most boring of fish. They're not really gonna do much, but I guess that's the whole point. So I hope you guys enjoy your little rockscape, and I'm very curious to see what we get next. Arapaima? Dude, that is my dream fish. 
beautiful freshwater species and a very big tank for it as well as you would expect um yeah we're not gonna get to that today but it's nice to see that this update was quite large as you can clearly see and yeah i think that's a good time to wrap up this episode here let's actually clean up real quick and open up the place see what people think about it oh you know what that's actually the whole thing i was <laughs> i was walking all the way around throwing these pieces of garbage out wait do i actually have to unlock this door it's Oh my god. Okay, so you have to walk all the way around. You know what? Screw it! I don't care about your junk here then. Yeah, that's gotta be the room. I just have to finish that to unlock that door, I guess. But yeah, let's just see how we're doing. I really gotta redo these tanks. Um, I, It is 12 a.m., by the way, so I... Well, there's people staring at empty tanks. Okay, sweet. Obviously, the shark tank, as per usual, gets all the attention. Coffee shop doing quite good. You didn't even add a cutscene to the new part yet? Oh, I hate you. All right. Visitor satisfaction, quite low, uh, but we didn't even get to see demand for my new area. Maybe we have to unlock this door to see the cutscene of this part. But yeah, I have to say, I like this. You know, the glow update, uh, true to its name, added glow fish. We got uh, jellyfish that should be slightly fluorescent as well. We also got the electric fish. And for whatever reason, freshwater shrimp. So yeah, we did a lot today. In the next episode, well, we'll be doing a massive Arapaima tank. And as I said, there is a job we can do as well. I don't know what that job is all about. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, I would love to continue doing this because uh, this game frustrates me, but it's very satisfying as well. There's not many aquarium games out there, and this is definitely the best one out there. But yeah, hopefully we can see some improvements in the near future. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of The Aquarist. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.